I, I was all from the streets, you know what I mean? So I always had money in the streets, so money never really made me. I never was really on it like that, you know what I mean? I always had money. So when I got into this hip hop shit, like, of course, I ain't at the level with the loonies and shit like that, but I don't look at it like, oh my God, I, I fell off or whatever. Nah, because I never was for the fame. I was always just about wow, you know what I mean? Period. As long as I'm paid, as long as my bills pay, as long as I can take care of my family, I'm good. So a lot of these people want the stardom. They 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 lose their fucking mind. They commit suicide, all types of wild drugs, hella crazy shit, just to you know feel like they still got that superstar and shit. You know what I mean? So I never uh, uh, did it for fame, my nigga. So that's why I don't give a fuck. But it's a lot of people that have died for fame. You know what I mean? Period. Once they lose it, they commit suicide and do wild shit, drugs, sexual acts, all types of shit, man. So you know this goes on and on. But I was raised from a different cloth, my nigga. So. You're right. absolutely, man, because being that y'all came out so young and so early with the game, like, never mind your age, but being like the game was even early, y'all never, like, like fell to the point where you needed the attention of being stardom. We just always going to do what we do versus other people tweaking when they get on and they lose a little bit because it's an ebb and flow system. You could be up one one year and you could be down. I'm pretty sure you probably went through that as far as late oh. and everything. I know it's shit wasn't roller easy roller for you. you I know shit wasn't down. easy for you. So I up, mean, down. Uh, up down, yeah, ebb and flow, yeah, like up this. down. So like, but you never you never went off to where you start tweaking and be like, yo, I'm bugged out. Like you start bugging. It's it's that's what's gonna happen to anybody in success. The whole thing never. Get track that's gonna go you're gonna have up and downs in life that's period with anybody not just artists you know what i mean so that's just life you're gonna have good days bad days you're gonna have great financial days bad financial days that's just life my nigga period learns you long as you learn that nigga you learn how to you know what i mean uh, uh navigate through this shit that just happens but nigga you ain't gonna always be on nigga period it happens and you gotta fight to get back on top or fight to reinvent yourself or fight to you know keep your shit going and shit but it, it, it never make a motherfucker, you know, start doing drugs and making accusations against your peers, false accusations against your peers. Probably some people that actually helped you back in the day. You know, you never know what, what people intentions are when they do the stupid shit. You know what I mean? So, I, yeah, I, just, I, I agree with I you, my brother. I rock, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. And you and you know, you you know what's a testament to that is that you're sit right now. I'm looking at you right now, and I and I've seen you on years and decades ago but you sitting up in there with plaques behind your motherfucking your studio right now and that's Fact. that's the validation that shows that yo we can strive that fight that you just said we can still be here today and I'm a, um very 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 few can compare to what you, what what you have done with your shit and i land man i just give you some flowers right there but yo what you're saying is facts because you you're on this platform right now and your plaques are behind you but you haven't let nothing happen with up and downs ever change um, how you move or originally. That's why I say I lay in, brother. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna tell you about, from knowing Young personally and, and knowing a lot of other dudes um, personally that's successful down to Jay Z. Cause like y'all, y'all know my story about Hove and, and what I did with Hove and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I think that it's just a character based thing. Sometimes you born in, sometimes you sworn in. The guys that sworn in gotta get taught along the way how to move in a room full of vultures where you got some niggas that just automatically have that character and they built like that, you know what I'm saying? That sort of character that you hold on to when you come in the game is what give you that longevity in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers that let money and opportunity and circumstances change them, they also change their core principles, you know what I'm saying? And then you start seeing products like that. Niggas that go to the drugs, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, these drugs blended with that motherfucking trying to get yourself popping again will make you look real stupid. You feel me? I feel. I feel turning you into a Yo, joke. That's a fact, bro. Because look, you got to figure our era was scratching and scraping to get to where we got to get to. All we knew was how to get to it, like, and get it. And we would never let nothing take us out of yo bro i can feed the family i could do this bro we on right now i can i can get my sister a car or some shit like that well we a real one a strong money individual ain't gonna lose that which is why i use yuck as the example to say yo he still got plaques on his wall like 
you can't do the, the fall off. You can't fall off. Uh, the, the, yeah. the mentality is so strong within our people that we're always gonna continue to go hard, my nigga. No matter what you, you know. So crazy. What you said earlier, yo, you said something about fight. You said, yo, you gotta fight. You gotta fight every day. It, it, once we, once you, once we born our people, once we born, we're always fighting. Day one, we're always fighting. So don't think because the bad come, we are gonna stop fighting. Let me show you one of the best fighters in the game. The nigga you mentioned it right now, JC. That nigga couldn't get signed, man. They try to come to Russ with a bag full of money. That Russ one signed a nigga with a bag full of money. Yeah. The niggas had this. They struggled. Jay was rapping fast and like tongue twisting and shit, all types of shit. The fucking fooch niggas. Jay, it wasn't always gravy for Jay, my nigga. And he fought through that shit. Changed his style up, nigga. Did all types of shit. Uh, 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 nigga bought hella made Rockefeller bought all this there, all type of shit to make this shit keep going up. It went down a few times. That first album dropped, re, uh, 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 re, the next couple albums, the motherfucker dropped until it got the blueprint, nigga. He went right back up, you know what I mean? Dropped again when he lost all the artists, nigga, and then came back up. So everybody take a dip, puff, nigga. That nigga start off as a motherfucking uh, uh, bellboy, a mailman, or whatever the fuck, a runner. Let me you take know, it. No, you're right. You're right. Because oh, even hold oh, a second. Intern. He started he, off as a he, fucking he, intern, bro. Hold on for a second, y'all. Right. I'm going to give you, give you some history real quick. Back in the day, me and Marco, we was up north together. You know what I'm saying? We was in jail together, right? And back then, we used to, we used to get tapes. You feel me? Now, if you had a tape, you dig where I'm coming from, you let somebody hold your tape. You know what I mean? Like, we paid attention to the condition that tape came back in because you used to have the words in it. You have the, 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 you know what I mean? The executive producers, the producers, the, the lyrics. All, all the that. credits came on cassettes. You you knew who wrote, who did this. All of that was on the info was on that. Oh, yup, know that yep. shit. That it probably was on Yup album. Yep. In order for that nigga Marco to get a tape out of my motherfucking, out of my motherfucking room, out of my cell, right? You damn near had to check that shit out like a librarian. Why? Because those, those shits right there was more than just entertainment for us. We actually learned how to, you know what I'm saying, like move based off of those motherfucking records. You gotta understand, I, I grew up in jail. That was our blueprint right there. You know what I'm saying? So it was ironic that he named it Blueprint. Then I came home and worked at Def Jam for four years. So I understand the struggle of how, what, what Jay-Z and them went through and other motherfuckers that's like that. But I also see that it's easy for a nobody ass, nothing ass motherfucker to come up there, you know what I'm saying, on any platform to say any fucking thing and get some energy. You know what I mean? It's like you you can't win, you, you, you can't lose, but you definitely can't win when it comes down to opinions and what people say. No matter how dead these motherfuckers sit to you. You know what I'm saying?